What are the top five characteristics of the average FICO high achiever? Welcome to the channel. My name is Steve Didier. I am the founder and CEO of Ronan Credit Consultants. Today, we are going to be looking at the top five characteristics of your average FICO high achiever. So what is a FICO high achiever? A FICO high achiever is somebody who has achieved a 800 or greater FICO score. So basically, anybody with 800 or greater is killing the credit game. That's the goal, be part of that 800 club. That's what we all shoot for. And here are the top five characteristics of those who have done it. Number one, this should come as no surprise, they pay their bills on time. This is critically important and it's so obvious that sometimes it gets overlooked. I just had a client the other day, we've been working on his credit, it's been coming up. We did a review uh, last week and his credit score had dropped significantly, like 100 points. When we looked at his credit report, he was currently 30 days late on his car payment. So it's tough to build your credit if you have 30 days late. So if you have 800 greater credit score, I guarantee you don't have late payments on there. If you have perfect credit, absolutely flawless credit, 800 or above, you have one 30 day late, that can drop your score by 100, 120, 130, 140 points. So it's very, very serious. Now the damage that individual late payments do will fade over time, but there is nobody with 800 who has lates in the last couple of years. I guarantee that. Number two, the second thing that FICO high achievers have in common is that they have very low utilization. Now what does that mean? This means on their revolving accounts, their credit cards, their lines of credit, they have on average 4% utilization. So how do you calculate that? If you take the limit of all the credit cards and lines of credit, all the revolving credit, add it all together, and then you take the balances that they have on all those credit cards, and you divide the limit into the balance, it will give you the percentage. So to put it in real life numbers, if you have $10,000 in available open credit, 4% utilization would be $400. So if you want to blow those numbers up a little bit and you have 100,000 in open credit, 4% utilization would be $4,000. So this is spread across all your credit. This is not a number that you want to aim for. It's not like you're aiming to leave 4% on your credit cards. Ideally, you want them paid off every single month, but sometimes there'll be some carryover. Sometimes you'll get charged in the billing cycle or whatever. So this is on average, the FICO High Achiever is going to have 4%. Your goal is to have 0%. Pay everything off every single month. That will make sure that you have the lowest possible utilization. Number three, they don't close accounts. Remember, this is a long-term game. The credit is a long play, okay? So with FICO high achievers, their average age of their credit cards is 12 years. On average, their oldest account is 25 years old. So this is a very, very blunt reminder that we are playing the long game here. The stuff that you do now, you want to be setting yourself up for 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road. So making sure that you're not opening temporary accounts and closing, you want to get your credit profile right, you want to get the accounts in place that you want. And as a kind of a side note, when it comes to this, the average FICO high achiever also has, on average, seven credit cards. So they get credit cards that they want and they keep them open for the duration. So this is something that you can model. If you've got some starter cards and things like that that are, are really bad that you needed to utilize to get your score up so you can get other credit cards, once you get the credit cards that you want and you get your credit profile fleshed out and it's where it's want, then you close those starter cards but only once you've established yourself, then you close them. The idea is to get the cards you want and leave them open basically forever. Number four, very few inquiries. If you look at the credit reports of the high net worth and high FICO individuals that I deal with, you are gonna see very few inquiries. The most inquiries that you will generally see are mortgage inquiries, and that's because they're generally looking to invest in real estate. I just looked at my credit report in the last 12 months, I have two inquiries. So keep the inquiries for a minimum, but this is also easy to do because once you have your credit profile established, you have the cards that you want, then 
there's no need for you to be randomly applying for other cars. You want to intentionally put together your credit profile so you have the cars that you want, you have the loans, the lines of credit and everything that you want, and there you don't have to be applying for more and more constantly all the time. You want to get the ones you want and let them season. Last but not least, number five, they have a really diverse mix of credit. And what I mean by that is they have revolving accounts, which are credit cards, but there's a mix of regular credit cards, charge cards, retail cards. You've got the installment credit, you know, loans, whether it's personal loans, car loans, things like that. You have mortgage. So there's a wide diversity of types of credit because FICO likes to see that you have the ability to pay back different types of loans and different types of credit. So there you go. Pay your bills on time, low utilization, low inquiries, long length of credit history, and don't close your accounts. You keep up with these, that'll give you a really good idea of what the top dogs in the credit game are doing. You can mimic it so you don't have to reinvent the wheel and you can be part of the 800 Club sooner than you think. So thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you found value, please share as well. My name is Steve Didier. We'll see you all very soon.